Hi, I'm Rev. Dr. Tammy Denise. I'm a Black woman and I'm a 19-year breast cancer survivor. Actually, I'm a 19-year breast cancer overcomer. I shifted from survivor to overcomer because I was informed that I would likely not survive five years. Well, I'm here, but there are numerous women who aren't because of the lack of access to quality, timely, and equitable health care. Since my diagnosis, I have dedicated using my voice to advocating for those often overlooked. The No Longer Silence campaign illuminates the voices of real people navigating the murky waters of our healthcare system. They are not pretty, nor are they easy to hear, but they are necessary. Cancer patients deserve timely, individualized care, but sadly, this is not the care they're receiving. Utilization management barriers imposed by health plans stand in the way, and protocols like step therapy prevent cancer patients from having timely access to the medication recommended by their doctors. All of this is bad, and it leads to patients suffering. This can cause weeks up to months of delay. Suboptimal treatment can disrupt continuity of care, allowing for cancer and other illnesses to progress and patients to experience additional and unnecessary side effects. Clinically proven treatments, including new and innovative treatments, are available but inaccessible. And for my lay listeners who haven't gone to medical school or aren't steeped in policy, don't trip, you're okay. This stuff is complex and not easy to understand, which is why we're even having this conversation. These barriers deny patients and their physicians the freedom to choose the best treatment path. Several medications are on the market, but physicians can't all access them equally. While access issues are a systemic problem, statistics show us that black and brown patients of color and the elderly are more likely to have delayed access to care, causing the poorest outcomes. We hear horror story after horror story from fearful patients who are literally fighting for their lives. That's why this national awareness and educational campaign will feature these stories highlighting experiences of patient access issues. This is no longer silent, patient access issues.